Uh-huh. All right, so welcome to an untitled review. Oh, man, we have got some shit for you today. It's going to uh, blow your mind right here. All right, so today we're going to be reviewing this guy. All right, so let's uh, have a look and figure out what we have here. All right, so we have here Blend 15. Uh, it is a cider, apparently made by the Denmark Heritage Cider Company. Uh, oh, it's from all the way from Western Australia. Well, that, that came a long way here to the former Soviet Union. Uh, yeah, whatever. 8.4%. Something, something called a pomage is involved here. One pomage, please. Um, Ordinary apples don't make the grade for heritage cider. You need, like, apples that are made from dogs or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, man, there's a lot. Of, I don't know. Five standard drinks. All right. So let's let's uh, continue on here um, to the opening. So what I'll say is this probably is the most expensive liquor product that I've ever reviewed on uh, Untitled. <laughs> Thanks to all our sponsors, uh, which is, well, actually, we're on the YouTube, so the sponsors are uh, you guys. So thanks a lot for uh, for watching. So far, the revenue for uh, this channel is hovering around 60 cents. It's not going much further, but I pick up this video, might tip it over to like 50 bucks, and then I can buy another couple of bottles of this. It'll be all right. Okay, so, um, yeah, all right, let's right, let's open this thing up. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. We, we need this in frame right here. Cool. Oh, yes. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so that's off the top. Ready? Shit, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, there's some shit coming out there. All right, so, uh, hold on. So it smells like a, an incredibly sweet cider. Uh, it is foamy, as you can see. This is a foamy cider. Let's just wait for this foam to subside here. Okay. Waiting for the foam to subside. Ooh. There we go. All right, so it is uh, a light, a light piss color. Okay, let me try to set it. Oh wow, that is incredibly flavorless. Okay, so this is an extremely mild cider. Um, mm. uh, it reminds me of Summersby cider which is probably one of the cheapest ciders I've ever had, whereas this is one of the most expensive ciders I've ever had. So what I'll say is uh, pretty good. Reminds me of nice cheap cider, which I enjoy. Cheap liquor is good liquor. But it costs a lot of money, which makes it better. So I'm going to give this uh, a solid uh, 8.4 out of 10. for being both tasty and expensive. Tastes like cheap cider, but it costs more. <sighs> oh. Actually, you know what? Let's make that a 4.8 out of 10. 